Hi guys, this is Type, and this is the continuation of the Weapon Builds or Sets episode. <clears throat> Last time, I talked about the Charge Blade and the Great Sword, and today, I want to discuss about the Long Sword, one of my favorite weapons as well, <clears throat> and hopefully the rest of my melee weapons. All right, so let's start. So this is my build. <clears throat> So basically, it's the usual DPS stuff. Attack boost, critical eye, agitator, uh, critical boost, weakness exploit, uh, peak performance, and then yeah, that's it. So for the decorations, this is what it looks like. So three attack four, this is actually very lucky. Lucky. <laughs> and then Challenger. Sheath and Attack. Expert. And then again for the uh, Divine Blessing or the Protection. So I love the Divine Blessing for my uh, sets. Because, uh, yeah, it just gives me that confidence to just, yeah, go ham. Don't look at your HP. Just hope that it will proc. <laughs> And I also mentioned, do not practice or develop that habit. It's not good. <laughs> Alright, so... <clears throat> for the build, I made it this way. Um, because this is also good. Like the quick sheet for the Eido slash. The one with the sheathing. It's really strong. Uh, very, very good counter attack. And quick sheath is uh, good for it. Well, before I used to run my longsword without the quick sheath, but uh, thanks to the arch-tempered Velkana, uh, it gives you two levels of quick sheath, and then I happen to have the sheath and attack, so I just added it there. <clears throat> so, handicraft. Yeah, you can actually change the arms to alpha, and you will have three levels of handicraft. You can go for three. It's good enough already but luckily I have room to make it five and then the shaver of course that is a must for a long sword so you don't have to wound the monster twice and then mind's eye this is um, actually just a bonus here um, we all know that when you are pressing the R2 or doing the spirit slash uh, you won't bounce or the weapon won't bounce but sometimes you just really have to press the triangle, or triangle O, and then O, you know, just for the usual combos that you do to fill the gauge. And sometimes um, it can't be avoided that you would hit a very hard monster part and you would bounce. And that can be deadly. Actually, it happened to me a few times uh, fighting Behemoth. I wanted to do the foresight, but I hit the chest. And then I wasn't able to foresight an attack, and that really punished me. So, since I have an extra slot, so why not add Mind's Eye, right? I mean, after all, like what I said in my first video, um, it's totally up to you. So, the reason why I'm showing this again is because I just want to share to the community how I make my builds. Alright, so for the Augments, uh, it's Affinity, Health Region, and then Element or Status Effect Up. Uh, you, Well, um, I'm not sure if it really does an impact if you have an Element Up, but I do have the extra materials for it. So usually I just go for Defense yeah, or Element, whichever. <clears throat> Alright. So this is my first build for the longsword. Oh, and uh, yeah, for the stone thrower, it's just there for uh, the wall slam. Or sometimes I just um, squeeze it in my combo that I press the slinger while I'm doing the R2. So I can time it uh, properly while the monster is down. That the moment I do the Helm Breaker, it's about to stand up. And then when I land the Helm Breaker, hopefully it can flinch the monster again. 
So peak performance, uh, that's kind of very self-explanatory now because yeah, it's a DPS boost once your HP is full. So there's my first build. <clears throat> Alright, so on to my second one. This is basically the same. Um, the difference is it only has uh, three levels of handicraft and as you can see there's a speed sharpening there. So I saved this loadout. I decided not to remove it because um, my supply of this wet fish. I used to not have this in my radial wheel and it's kind of annoying when you see the sharpness go down right so instead of you doing three rotations of sharpening your weapon all you have to do is just pop this one and voila it's there already so yeah well this build is basically not something i use nowadays but i still saved it there i mean uh, i have an item loadout where i don't have the uh, wet fish and depending on the monster sometimes i just feel like you know using longsword so i just go for this one if that item loadout and i'm using doesn't have that wet fish so same thing it has attack boost uh critical eye agitator usual dps stuff so for the jewels it's uh, like this Alright, so on to my third build. So this one, I specifically use this when I'm fighting Fatalis or when I'm fighting Arch-Tempered Velcana. So I just remove the heavy artillery and change it to uh, Stone Thrower or the Slinger. So the part breaker. Um, in my previous video, I said it, it feels like it's not kind of needed, right? Um, well, that's exactly how I feel for the greatsword at least. But since longsword is easier to build around because you don't need focus. Um, you don't need uh, special jewels like the capacity for the charge blade and gun lance. Um, what else? So it's basically just make sure that you have the critical boost and the weakness exploit. Yeah, of course, the attack, agitator, critical eye. So once again, it has um, maximum handicraft or level 5 handicraft. Level 5 divine blessing, tool specialist. And um, port breaker, yeah. And then the heavy artillery for the ballista. So um, before, I didn't have the attack boost level 4 and I have the fire resistance there. But like what I said, after fighting uh, Fatalis so many times, and it has killed me so many times as well, I felt like the fire resistance um, doesn't really help me. Because when he does that flamethrower move and sometimes I just... I'm just too far, or I, I, I'm not uh, going to survive even if I do the Superman dive or there is um I'm already burned and then I have the the moxie and then I'll, I'll still die so it doesn't really matter if you have the fire resistance at least in my experience but I'm not encouraging people who are used to having the fire resistance in their build to remove it Alright, so yeah, here's my set for the Fatalis. And... Alright, so this one is for Safi Jiva. That's why there's um, SJ there. Stands for Safi Jiva. It's basically the same thing as this one. Just added some uh, health boost because... When fighting Safi Jiva, I usually start it with um, Storm Slinger. And then when I, when my teammate would drop the boulder, I would um, Firecaster, Firecaster, not Fire, sorry, 
uh, back to the tent and then switch to longsword if I'm feeling like using the longsword. And fortify is there just in case I decided to kill myself in the game. <laughs> so it activates just for added DPS. And senior capacity, yeah, well, just that's just an extra there. Alright, so... Elemental Longsword. Ice and Fire. I use this in Alatrion. So this is my build. Again, if um, someone's going to ask why I don't have the maximum elemental attack and I went for attack boost, it's because I see Longsword as a weapon that is better focused on the raw damage since the Helmbreaker uh, most of its damage um, will come from your overall raw or if it has high raw then better <clears throat> so it's the same thing so uh, just for the jewels it's it's like this So, yep. Challenger attack, attack. Sheath attack again. And then the Phoenix protection. Since, the, um, since I don't have the Blight resistance, uh, this is actually good. Once you pop a berry to remove the Dragon Blight, it will take effect. Or any Blight. This is also good. Well, I, I sometimes use this against... Um, Brachidios, the raging one. So for the augment, it is um, oops, health region and um, element up. <laughs> so just enough or or decent element um, damage. It's still focused on the raw. Even my custom mods, by the way, it's uh, raw. <clears throat> or the overall attack. I sometimes uh, switch this to stone thrower, but uh, free meal is actually good. <clears throat> and then for the fire, it's the same thing. So you can see the only change for the eye setup is the weapon, but same equipment. <clears throat> and lastly, the paralysis. This is actually a meme setup. Um, I don't know how I ended up making this one. <laughs> I think I was checking my inventory and then I saw, okay, wow, I have the Paralysis Longsword. And this is something I can use while hunting random monsters. Or um, just a meme run, really. I mean, it's just funny when you can paralyze the monster non-stop. And um, yeah, it, this is the only status weapon I have, I believe. I used to have this uh, sleep switch axe back in world and I would always use it, uh, use it against uh, monsters like Legiana because they frequently fly so let's put them to sleep instead or you can just spam them with, with um, flash but they also change that um, you cannot exactly spam that in Iceborne <clears throat> Or even in world, they kind of change it for the tempered ones. So for this one, this is not fully augmented by the way, but I'm planning to um, add status up and health regen. It uh, re um, for now it only has the health regen. So this is uh, sorry, this is the decoration for it. So paralysis for the extra paralysis, obviously. And then the mind's eye again. 
Um, I can just change this to evade window. But thank goodness for the foresight. You want to continue attacking and just do counter attack. <clears throat> Instead of uh, trying to iframe. That's better. I mean the foresight is better. So next up is the hammer. Or the one I call the Onga Bunga weapon. Because of the stun power of this one. The KO power. Alright, so this is my build for the hammer. I have two builds for the hammer. The one with the earplugs, which I will show later. As well. So it's four pieces of Fatalis. And again, the Arch-Tempered Velcana. For the decorations, it looks like this. So three pieces of attack for Challenger, uh, Sheath, and then the KO. And one level of focus. Um, the focus, this is actually very nice for the hammer. You can... You can have um, a hammer build without the focus, but for me personally, at least level 1 of focus for my hammer build. For the faster charge. So let's say you want to uppercut um, immediately. Um, this is good. If you can make uh, 3 levels of focus, then that's even better. You can actually remove the KO if you're confident enough that you can constantly or consistently land the hammer attacks on the monster's head because the hammer I believe has a passive KO trait and um, the highest KO potential out of all the weapons <clears throat> alright so for the augment it's um, Affinity, uh, Defense, and Health Region. Again, for the last uh, slot, it's uh, your choice if you want to um, put um, Element up or just go for the Defense. For me, it's just the Defense because this weapon doesn't have any shield, obviously. Um, you rely on rolling away, iframing, or if you are uh, wearing the Rocksteady, I actually call it Death Steady because I've died so many times. You know, wearing the Rock Steady, not caring enough <clears throat> if I'm gonna be killed in one hit by a heavy attack or AoE or whatever. So I think for me, for my playstyle of how I use Hammer, I decided to just um, add defense in there. So Slugger for the bonus for the KO and then again peak performance attack boost agitator um divine blessing yeah handicraft of course i honestly don't understand the the idea behind sharpening a hammer <laughs> until now Really, I mean, what's the point of sharpening a blunt weapon, right? <clears throat> so there you have it. So on to my next hammer build. The one with the earplugs. This is um, one of my favorite builds for the hammer. Because <clears throat> this is literally just going onga bonga. Really. You don't have to worry about getting roared and sometimes um, you get roared in the worst case scenario like you're almost dead there's another monster and that other monster roared you and then the main monster you're hunting is about to um, hit you or kill you and that sucks feels bad man <laughs> happened to me a few times too so earplugs is the way to go uh, for the decorations it's like this
So just two levels of um, KO compared to my other hammer setup which has a three and then again with one level of charger for the quick charge of the hammer i love using the second charge the uppercut because yeah it's like okay doing an uppercut to ko the monster it just looks so badass but just be careful using that against your teammates because you don't want to accidentally launch them right like when they're doing their combos or when they are um, about to claw a monster or already in the process of doing a wall slam and you happen to uppercut the monster you can actually um, hit your teammate <laughs> and that is not good I'm not sure if adding flinch free will prevent that from happening but uh, for me I just try to use the uppercut if I'm on the clear and I'm certain that I'm not gonna hit anyone so yep this is my build for the earplugs <clears throat> again um, the KO I personally think that this is very very optional you can just make it handicraft 5 if you want or add something else that you would love like focus <clears throat> before the fatalis armors um i remember that i only have one level of slugger and i put everything in ko but now i feel like one is just okay-ish it's good enough already so again, Handicraft 3. And um, there it is for my hammer setup. Stone Thrower, um, yeah, for the wall slam. When you do that rolling attack after you do the hold R2, and then you quickly press the um, claw combo. So sometimes the monster quickly changes to the yellow icon and that's an indication that they can wall slam already and it's good if you have an extra ammo in your slinger. Alright, so same augment. This is the same hammer. So it's um, affinity, defense and health region. All right, so the hunting horn. Well, um, this is one of my least used weapon and um, I cannot say much for this weapon except it's uh, really strong in the hands of someone very familiar with it. So I just have a basic knowledge of it. Uh, just add a uh, horn maestro there. So I see this weapon as um, an even slower version of hammer <laughs> but make no mistake it's really strong so do not consider this a weapon for support only because I sometimes uh, hear or um, read from people or online that they do some corner healing with it and um, I suggest that you try to engage while um, doing your um songs <clears throat> so same thing the attack boost critical eye agitator and um this weapon is not fully augmented but it has the health uh augment or the lifesteal i think health augment is really really a must for all the melee weapons and um i'm not sure about gun lance um, actually, I don't have a gun lance set up. So for those um, who are watching this and they do know stuff about gun lance, um, enlighten me please about the weapon. Alright, so this is another setup, the earplugs. This is kind of a last minute build I made. Um, I just thought of making an earplug setup for the hunting horn because um, I've used this a few times 
and there were actually situations where I got roared in the middle of doing my uh, songs and uh, that sucks <laughs> so that's why I have an earplug set up but I actually use this one the one with no earplugs more often but then again I just use this uh, um, weapon if I'm very comfy hunting a monster like um, let me think like Tigrex yeah I can definitely use hunting horn while fighting that one but for monsters like Fatalis um, Zenogre I am not very comfy <laughs> using hunting horn Alright. <laughs> so that's it for today. And in my next um, video, I'm gonna talk about the Switch Axe, the Lance, the IG, the Glaive, and then the Dual Blades and um, SNS. So once again, thanks for watching and see you guys again next time. Peace out.